Welcome back to another episode of the free VSD Plugins Detective, where I have you test out and demonstrate various free VSDs. For today, we're looking at the Rainmaker by Quiet Music. I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 5. There's a couple things about this one that I really, really like. However, there's one big issue with this plugin that makes me deduct the rating a lot. So first off, when you open it up, click Start. And as you can see, I have four different settings. I have Digital Thunder, Rain 1, Rain 2, and Natural Thunder. So I'm gonna play them in succession so you can hear them. And once I turn it on, as you can see, this will continue looping pretty much forever. So I just actually started a new artist project called Sensory Nature. I have a link list below in the description if you wanna check out that YouTube channel and the music I've been making, but I'm making meditation music. So this kind of like ambiance is perfect for something like that, especially because a lot of people Google like rain sounds or calming sounds or whatever. So that's Digital Thunder, Rain 1. Cool little gooey right here too. You can kind of see the uh, the lightning. Rain 2. A bit more faint. And then Natural Thunder. Now if I turn them all on. Really cool. So if like say I'm making a song and I want some rain in the background, I can use this. Here's the issue though. Is let's say I'm working on something and let's say I'm playing a part of the song like so. And then I stop it, you notice this automatically stops. Makes sense to an extent. But if I hit play again, nothing. So that's a bit unfortunate that for this one, if I'm like say using the rain sound or the thunder sound or all of them in a project, I have to manually go back to here, wait for it to open up, then manually click these again. So there's there's one main thing you can do to kind of avoid that, and that is doing something called resampling. You cannot do freezing and flattening with this plugin, which again is super unique too. So if I just do this, I've done this before in other plugins, and I put in any note, it doesn't really matter the note. And let's say this is here, right? And I'm just gonna play it. And next time I'm like, oh, I want the sound. I can do a uh, freeze track. It's gonna freeze it. I do flatten, but then you notice no audio. Kind of frustrating. So I will have to do it, like say I want to use this, is bring up audio track. Um, th this is obviously for Ableton, but you can do this in a bunch of other DAWs. Click resampling. I'm going to be uh, recording uh, this one. And if I bring this up, I guess I can turn this on. And then I can just do this. Not sure, uh, I'm going to go down here. Oh, I'm going to do this here. There we go. Turn these all on. So as you can see, I can do that and then record it as it's doing right now. And then stop it. And then that way I have this. But the one thing I like about this plugin is it auto loops. So if I were to loop this, even if I do that, you're going to hear like a click almost. I can always do this and I can do some fading and everything. But if you notice, you can hear it. Actually, it wasn't too bad, surprisingly. Okay, it wasn't too, too bad. But sometimes with some ambiances, you hear this almost click or you can clearly tell that it is being looped so even with something like this actually that transition surprisingly was pretty smooth but normally you hear this kind of weird click especially like say i'm doing this and like say i'm here to see if this actually well, not too bad actually surprisingly so that's a good thing actually that's really good but sometimes when you have these kind of rain sounds it can, you can tell it's being looped so it's unfortunate that when it comes to this plugin i love the idea of being able to click these and instantly turn it on or off. I have panning and volume, as you can see, too. Right? So I, I love the fact that I can do this. Super cool to me. I can do panning if I want to and do some stereo width stuff if I want to and also volume. And I can add reverb. Don't know why reverb, but like if you want to make a bigger echo, I might just use the reverb in Ableton or a different reverb. But it does think that the second I hit stop, I'm like say I'm previewing, I'm uh, playing a part of my song. I hit stop, it instantly all stops. And then I have to go back to it and turn these all on and off, kind of annoying. So my best suggestion, if you are gonna download this VST, is to make sure you do resampling. 